just removed the water heater, which uh, I don't think has potentially ever been used on this boat. It's been disconnected for since I bought it and since the original guys who brought it out here got it. So that's what it looks like without any engine in the engine compartment. Um, still have the vent hose hooked up. I'll probably leave that. It's good to have the blower from time to time. But uh, if we're lucky, everything will, will bolt up. And uh, I'm going to put the batteries in this little battery compartment that's so conveniently here when I remove the water heater. Not a real graceful way of doing this, but let's put it on the mount. Slide back. Try not to cut my wires. So I can tell already that this plate is going to be in the way on this side. However, there's nothing on this side, so I'm going to swap it. All right, there it is. So, um, yeah. quite a bit smaller. Takes a lot of space than the engine did. It's kind of incredible how small it is comparatively. Um, I ended up, there was not enough space here to fit the speed controller, so I had to switch sides. Um, and then, interestingly enough, uh, as you can see here, these engine mount holes weren't exactly drilled precisely. Um, so I measured things a little too tight. This, this was measured directly off the engine, um, but the holes were not accurate. So I had to drill new holes and shift this up about half an inch. Shouldn't be a problem. Got this installed. Let's check the throttle. Oh yeah, that's looking good. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. All right, well, I lost the screw. It goes there, unfortunately, which sucks. So I had to find something for that at home. Okay, time to test. Oh yeah, I, it's not connected. I, it's not bolted in. Oh yeah, that's working great. <laughs> Too cool. Okay, well, got to find a 1032, and then uh, we'll be good. We'll be in business. The, the battery, you can see there's plenty of space for both of them here. Do you have two of those cells? Yeah. Yeah, this is going to work out great.